Marketing Strategy for Authors, written by Tao Wang, narrated by Shannon Thompson. Two series or not? Another author consideration, and or indie publisher consideration, is whether to do a series or not. There are very, very good arguments as an indie publisher to do a series, specifically that every book in a good series pushes up sales for every book in the previous series. This is mostly due to the renewed interest and ranking of the newly released book. As your book should be linked to previous books in the series by title and on the product page, people who see book 8 of a series can jump back to book 1, especially if there is significant social proof, like bestseller tags, reviews, etc., to indicate the new release and the series is good. It's important to consider that series do have a lifespan where each book reduces in the number of readers. You can expect maybe 60 to 90% of readers from the first book to pick up your second book, and 80 to 90% of readers to read book three onwards, with each new book seeing fewer readers. And this reduction is for a good series. Unsuccessful series will see less than 50% of book one readers reading book two. Now, if you have a significant number of readers, that decline in the number of readers doesn't matter as much. If you have 10,000 readers for book one, by book five, you may have around 5,000 readers, 80% of book two, 90% of book three onwards. But if you have 1,000 readers of book one, that means you have around 500 readers for book five. That might not be sufficient to cover your cost. When writing series, you can also have multiple entry points to a series, allowing readers to find their way in at multiple points and giving you multiple ways to promote the series. Some authors spend their entire writing careers in just one universe, writing multiple series within the universe. Others write books that are standalone but are part of the series, allowing multiple entry points that way. I like doing series arcs, so it might be the same series, but I can do longer arcs with multiple entry points of sorts. On the other hand, one thing about first books is that they are almost always the best-selling book in a series in terms of total units sold and revenue generated. If you do standalone novels and have a very strong author brand, or are in genres that lean towards such standalone works, horror as an example, it's possible that it might work out well for you. This, by the way, is a supposition. I don't know of any of my indie author friends who do solely standalones, but I run in the sci-fi and fantasy circles. <laughs>